Hello, you princes of the outdoors, you princesses of backpacking. My name is Sue B. I'm also known by my trail name, Young Nana, and today I am doing my first ever gear review of a product that I've had for about a month now, and it is the Recharge XL Insulated Sleep Pad made by Perea Outdoor Products. It is almost winter here in New England, so it's already been a little down into the lower temperatures, which has given me an opportunity to do a real review on this pad. I've used it several times, and I just like to go over my experience with it. And I haven't seen any videos on anybody who's taken it cold weather backpacking, so I wanted to do this review to hopefully somebody make to help somebody else uh, make a decision about making a purchase and an investment in something like this. So the Perea Outdoor Products Recharge XL Insulated Sleeping Pad is 23 inches wide. It is the XL version, which is 78 inches long. Um, it is four inches thick, which is awesome. And it is 26 ounces. Uh, and I've taken it on a backpacking trip and a couple of BLM car camping trips where my husband and I stayed at BLM sites in Pennsylvania and New York, and both times it got below freezing. Uh, but I did wanna get a real backpacking trip in just to see how it would do on the ground in a tent. But this pad has an R value of 4.7, and the UL, which is more of a mummy shape and probably um, shaped more like a Neo Air by Thermarest, um, its R value is only 3.5, so I definitely appreciate the higher R value. Um, I'm five foot seven, so I don't necessarily need a pad that's six, four long, but um, definitely appreciate having the extra width. I'm a side sleeper, and the extra width and the four inches of thickness definitely helped me get a good night's sleep with this thing. I paired this with my UGQ um, zero degree quilt, and honestly, I will tell you, this is the sweet spot in winter backpacking as far as I'm concerned. If you don't have $200 to spend on an insulated sleeping pad for cold weather backpacking and cold weather camping, this one does the trick. It's a little heavier, so you're definitely going to pay more in weight than you are in cash. But if you can carry the extra weight, I'd say this is pretty com comparable. It's made of a really thick material. I have a Nemo Tensor um, pad that I use for three season camping and backpacking, and that's a nice 25 inches wide, I believe. But the material is thinner. So I feel that this is a more sturdy material. And again, you're gonna pay for that in weight, but you're also not going to pay for it in cash. If you're just getting started in winter backpacking and you're trying to find a good solution for your winter gear sleeping setup, I would recommend this. Um, I had good success with it when we camped in below freezing temperatures on all three occasions. Uh, it kept me warm. The only thing that I would want to recommend is that you make sure that you pair it with something that's going to take you down to lower degrees like a quilt or a sleeping bag you can adjust the firmness by popping this and just letting out some air that'll help adjust the firmness i will tell you that you definitely want to pop this back on when you're done with it i'm not going to do that right now because this was actually one of the few things that i found to be a little bit of a pain it does not come with a blow-up sack but you can buy one from Perea outdoor products website for 15 dollars and it attaches right to here. I wasn't going to show me blowing it up because that's pretty boring, but it's a good blow up sack and it'll probably take you four or five times depending on how full you get it when you're blowing it up, which will definitely save you some lung capacity after a long day of hiking. But you don't want to leave this flap open because I did notice um, I lost some air by leaving that flap open. Just make sure you seal it back up when you're done adjusting the uh, firmness of the air pad and you'll be fine. I really did appreciate having this. It has kept me warm and I do intend on using it for my winter backpacking. It's gonna be good in uh, also late fall, early spring. 
whenever temperatures get down to that 30 degree mark or lower, I do plan on having this to keep me extra warm. Again, it's the Perea Outdoor Products Recharge Insulated Sleeping Pad, and this is the XL version. My friend has one also. She has a um, Lanchian 2 tent, so the only thing I would recommend, if you don't have a tent that's seven feet long or over, this might not be the pad for you. She said it was kind of a tight squeeze in the tent that she used. So we didn't have that problem in our Kelty tent, but again, that is a consideration if your tent is a smaller footprint type tent. So um, again, you can get this for $84.99 as of December 2019 on Amazon. And I highly recommend it if you are looking for a budget-friendly option to help take you into winter backpacking.